Hey guys, Woody here, and welcome back to another episode of uh, Remaking a Champ Man 0102 Legend in FM23. And today we have none other than the Polish Wonder Kid, Paul Brozik. I hope I've said that properly. Uh, here, here is what he looks like in Champ Man 0102. It looks pretty good, actually. It's, he turns into a great player, actually. He is he's really uh, sort of a hidden gem I find in this game. Uh, and is a, a bit of an underrated one. But before we go and check him out in FM23, if you're enjoying this type of content, go and check out, because I made a few others, and they they look pretty good too as well. Um, Maxim Tijalko was a, was a good one. But yeah, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, that'd be good. Smash the like button as well. It pushes the video out to more people and uh, lets them see it as well. And also, let me know down in the comments what other Champ Man 0102 sort of, you know, legends of that game maybe didn't quite make it in real life um would you like to see remade in fm23 anyway let's go check out uh brozik and here is uh paul brozik at um whistler krakow where he starts off his career he's a striker i don't know why he's got that out on the right that's weird he was, he was always just a striker he's very strong on his right foot he's level-headed he's professional uh, having a look at his stats here, he looks physically amazing. Stamina and strength isn't great. He's brave, determined, he's got great flair, teamwork vision. Uh, sorry, teamwork and work rate. Good technique, good dribbling. These stats will go through the roof. Uh, yeah, so uh, obviously hasn't played any games so far. Valued, uh, you know, up to a mil. Uh, I'm not sure he's going to stay at uh, crack, uh, Whistler Crack out here for too long. I'm sure he'll be snapped up by a, uh, a big European club. And let's go and find out who that is. Uh, after five years in the game. And here we are five years in the future with a 22-year-old Paul Brozik. He is a Leipzig player. Um, he is still level-headed professional. He has 36 under-21 caps and 26 goals. I'm surprised he hasn't got a cap for the national team yet, which is very interesting. Um, you can see here his stats have gone up quite a lot. That stem and that strength have gone up. 5 and 14. That is very, very impressive. The physical's going up. The mentals have gone up a lot as well. Um, from memory, we have the bravery, determination, flair, work, teamwork, and work rate. We're the only ones in double figures. And his finishing, first touch, and free kick taking and passing have gone up as well. He is now worth 46 to 137 million. I wonder how much Leipzig paid for him. 750k after only playing one. I guess not even when he is half a year at uh, Whistler. Uh, only scored the one goal, though, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, they bought him. He played one game. Uh, then no games. Oh, worried this is going to go down the same route as a Cherno Samba and, and a Tonton Zolomokoko. At least this time he hasn't been signed by Tottenham. Uh, but I think they've probably blooded him nicely here with some appearances here. Then two. Would have been nice to see him go out on loan or something, but... I guess in this fifth season here, this is probably why he hasn't got any caps for the national team yet, but uh, this season here, he's playing a lot more and he's got eight goals in 20 uh, with an average rating of 7.17. So not too bad. We're not going to uh, obviously delve into the, the Polish team and see, see what's happened, but I just want to see they are ranked 27th in the world. So I wonder if he can help push that up eventually, but let's go check him out uh, at age 27. And at 27, Paul Brozek is an Inter player all the way over in Italy. And as you can see, wowzers. Absolute wowzers. We can now click on here because he's, he's a bit more well-known. It's on 400k, 400,000 a week. He's not for sale. Uh, he has 51 caps for Poland and 31 goals. So he's played in the last five years, 51 internationals for his country, which is excellent. He's an elite striker. Uh, and is a model professional. And have a look at these physicals. You remember when he was 17? His stamina and strength were 10. Look, they've just gone through the roof here. Jumping reach isn't great, but pff, all right, whatever. Uh, his anticipation, composure, decisions, off the ball, work rate, all these stuff for this advanced forward role. I mean, he could probably even play as a, uh, a complete forward. His long shots isn't great, so he'd probably not play him as this. But I mean, look at that. His lowest stat in here is his um, 14 for his passing and first touch. But even then, absolute wow. You can see over the right here how many goals he has scored. A really slow start with Leipzig. Uh, he then ended up with one in two, and his scoring record at Inter now is oh, chef's kiss. And his scoring record overall is pretty damn good as well. 
So he eventually moved. Uh, this is the season that we left. He played two, 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 three. Uh, sorry, two and a half more seasons at Leipzig, scoring 19 goals, 33 in all competitions, 19 in all competitions, and uh, 20 in all competitions the first half season before getting a £101 million to, uh, uh, to Italy. Uh, nice little bit of uh, profit there on him from Leipzig, a, uh, just over £100 million. He came to Inter and obviously just, you know, Picked up where he left off. You have a look at these two seasons here. He scored, uh, what, 20? He scored 32 goals across the two here in this season. That is amazing. 21 and 34 for Inter in the next season, and 22 and 37. And you know what? For the last two ones, I've forgotten to check on his milestone. So we've got a few milestones to catch up on. Oh, my God. So he made his season debut. Yep, he was bought by uh, Leipzig for about that much, rising to that. Season best 11. He's got his first cat face, Cyprus, age 22. I mean, Poland season best 11. He's going to be in there for a lot. First goal against North Macedonia. Yep, yep. The Europa League Golden Boot in 2027-28. Uh, there he is, scoring 11 goals. So not a bad return there for, for him there. He then also got... Oh, my God. I've got too much to catch up. The Europa League Young Player of the Season... Bundesliga top scorer, nice. European Golden Shoe third place, Polish player of the year. I mean, he's picked that up, obviously. Lewandowski retires, and Brozek just cleans up on that one, as you would expect. Uh, he then went and won the uh, Super Cup with uh, uh, Inter. Serie A player of the year. For two years running, very, very nice. Top goal scorer as well. Um, did I miss it here? I did run her up. Golden Shoe, yep, we missed this one. So we got he got it this year with 22 goals, so good on him. European Golden Shoe, third place. So no Ballon d'Ors or anything big like that just yet, but uh, surely something like that is not far off. Let's go check Poland, see how they've gone. Remember, they were 27. They're still 27, so not much happening there. He is their key player. Let's check out the schedule. Uh, so we want to go all the way back to... He's only been doing the last five years, hasn't he? So... 2027, um, Euro qualifiers, uh, Euro, you, oh, what's this, Euros, is this the Euros, Euro group here, they got through a second round and then got bumped out by Denmark, that's disappointing, Nations League, not much there, made the World Cup, I oh, know they're qualifiers, aren't they, yeah, they're qualifiers, I was like, oh, there's too many games there for the World Cup, no, uh, they did make the World Cup, they got drawn with Colombia, the Gambia, then faced Cameroon in the second round. Great going. And then they just got dumped out by England. Uh, I wonder you, who went on to win that. France went on to win that 2030 World Cup. So a bit of a blow there, but still not too bad. Euro qualifiers are not going very well at the moment. So that's probably... Wait, they made the European Championships? Oh, semi-final? Quarter qualifier, semi-final, they... They didn't make the Euros. In a nutshell, they didn't make the Euros. So, uh, Paul Brozek, he's 27. He's an elite striker. He's at the peak. Five more years. I think this guy is just going to clean up. Let's go and check it out. Just wow. Just absolutely wow. 32 years old. Paul Brozek is, I mean, he's still physically incredible, mentally strong. Look at these 18s and 19s. He is just so good. We did say his lowest stat was his, uh, wasn't his first touch and his passing before. It's now his dribbling at 15. He runs down the left of the ball, which is weird. But anyway, uh, tips over head kicks, knocks the ball past the opponent, tries tricks, tries first time shots, runs with, with the ball often. He's got a little bit of a pay rise there. He actually retired from international football. What? He retired three years ago at 29. That's interesting. Finishing up on 73 caps for Poland and 42 goals. It's a very early retirement. Something must have happened. Did Poland win the World Cup? That would be weird. Uh, career stats, obviously, he has been at Inter for the last one, two, three, four, five years. 29 goals in the league, 24. 40 goals in all competitions there. What? 12 in the Continental as well. 30 there, 21 in the league, 37. And 28, he is an absolute goal-scoring machine. And 409 games, 230 goals is a testament to that. 
chips in with the odd assist, but look at this average rating. Absolutely amazing. Right, milestones times. So 2032, I remember this time to include this. Um, yep, we had all this. He's won Serie A, uh, Serie A player of the year, top goal scorer, best striker, best player in Europe, runner up. Oh, we've got a Ballon d'Or third place. FIFA Pro Player of the Year, men's best player. We're not going to click on them because I'm going to spoil it if he's got any more. Uh, Copper Italia, another Serie A Player of the Year, top goal scorer, fastest goal. He's won the Champions League with Inter as well. Golden Boot, four of the season runner up. Um, best player in Europe, Serie A best striker, another third place in the Ballon d'Or. A goal 53rd place, best FIFA best men's player, third place. FIFA Pro Player, third place. He loves a third place there. Uh, 2035, they won the, uh, they did a treble with the Super Cup, Copa Italia, and the Serie A. He just cleans up awards here as well. FIFA Best Men, third place again. A double the year after with Serie A. They are dominating Serie A, as you would when you've got a strike screen, like almost 30 goals. The exemplary career Serie A player of the year. Fastest goal, Serie A player of the year. Champions League forward runner-up. Uh, golden Shoe, European Golden Shoe, FIFA Pro Player of the Year, third place, obviously, because, you know, that's just what we do. Another treble here from Inter, they are just dominating. Um, and, yeah, so some really, really good awards, but the uh, the FIFA Pro Player of the Year, he's, he's missing out uh, to Julio Morea, Atleti Madrid. He, uh, he looks pretty good. He looks pretty good. All right, fine. Uh, how did he, let's, let's go and check the Ballon d'Ors, because that is, he's probably just, just lost it now for his, his, his Ballon d'Or, uh, sort of, sort of time. So he got third here, uh, behind Kylian Mbappe and Lorenzo Van Klimput. Yeah, he's not bad. 34-year-old Kylian Mbappe there, but 33 goals, I mean... Kylian Mbappe had a better average rating there. Uh, he then comes third again behind Kylian Mbappe and Julio Morea as well. Use for Makoko here. And wow, a Chinese player getting third as well. And that's his only two. He also did, didn't he get a uh, FIFA Pro Player of the Year third place as well. Yep, losing out to those other usual suspect regions. Uh, let's go and check Poland. Uh, they're 29th, but he hasn't played for three years. So he retired in 2030. Well, what's going on here? 2034. Um, we left 2032 after that horror, horror, horror run here. They they got the UEFA Cup, right? Right, okay, so this is what's happened. They, they got to the World Cup. They beat Guinea-Bissau and Uruguay, get to the second round, and then get bumped out. By uh, by South Korea in extra time, uh, and uh, and Serbia. What? Serbia actually go on and win that with their key player Mujo uh, Mujkic. He's a goalkeeper, so all right at Man City, pretty decent, but fine. Uh, so yeah, that's that's weird that Serbia won the World Cup. Netherlands won it as well there, but so that's when that must be when he retires after here, which is strange. Maybe he just thinks 2038. I'm not going to make it, but uh, without him, they absolutely bomb in the Euros. Uh, really disappointing there as well, and uh, it's not it's not the most glamorous career, uh, but still an excellent goal scoring record. And surely as well, I mean, he's not obviously Poland's record goal scorer, is he? Uh, no, he's never going to get there. Lewandowski got 118 uh, caps for Poland and 195 appearances, so a bit of a way off that. But still pretty good, Paul Brozic. We've got five more years, and, uh, and then he'll probably be retiring. So let's go and check him out. All right, guys, we are back. I've actually gone six years in the future because I went five and I noticed that he wasn't uh, going to retire, so I did another season. So here he is, Paul Brozic, at 38 years old. Um, he, look, oh, I mean, physical slightly kind, but everything else is through the roof. These mentals are just, oh. And uh, as well here with these other stats as well, looking really good, that finishing and that. He is actually at Spurs and has been here for about five years, so... Interesting that he made that move to Inter. I wonder how much Spurs had to pay for him uh, for that amount there. 
um, but it does look like he uh, he has had a pretty good career there as well with that that one in two goal scoring record as well slightly over that in Italy but um, um yeah let's go and have a look at his career stats so oh Tottenham got him on a free so this is just where we left here he did one more season in Italy scoring 29 goals moves to the Premier League and makes 25 34 in all comps 18 36 in all comps but 12 assists is nice 22 and 30 in all comps, 12, 19 in all comps, must have had an injury here, and then 16 and 21 in all comps, so, uh, I mean, Spurs have really, really picked up a bit of a bargain here with him for free, let's go and check his milestones now as we scroll all the way down to uh, 2037, this is just after he's getting released here, so he plays this season in Inter, wins the Serie A, uh, cleans up these awards, Champions League Golden Boot runner-up. He loves a runners-up or a third place, doesn't he? He was released by Inter on a free. Interesting. And then he was without a club for like th almost three weeks. That's ridiculous. FIFA Best Men's Player runner-up. FIFA Pro player, player of the Year. He finally gets that one. He wins a Carabao Cup with Spurs, and it looks like they've done it again. Uh, he gets the Golden Boot in the Premier League. Uh, FIFA Best Men's uh, Player, third place again. I got a bit excited there. I thought it was going to be a uh, proper one there. Uh, another Carabao Cup, we saw that. And an FA Community Shield. Champions League forward runner-up season. A lot of runners-up, runners-up. He finally gets a FIFA Best Men's Player and a FIFA Pro Player. No Ballon d'Or, though. Does win a Premier League with Spurs. So Spurs fans, uh, alternate reality here. They do a double here. Uh, and he picks up a few other third places runners up and Spurs go back to back and win the FA Cup as well. Spurs actually win three Premier Leagues in a row. That's that's incredible. That's what Paul Brozek will do for you, win your three Premier Leagues in a row. And they've just won it again, obviously, in his final final year with an FA Cup. We know he cleaned up on that Polish one there. It was actually the uh uh, FIFA Pro Player of the Year. He wins it in that season there and also the best men's player in that same year there as well. Doesn't reach the heights of the Ballon d'Or, unfortunately, from his third place uh, down here in 2033-34. I think that's the last time he's ever really in the running, which is very bizarre uh, for Paul Brozic. So what an absolute monumental career. Always got some staff attributes. Always like to check them out. Um, head of youth development, anyone, maybe? No, no, maybe not. Uh, so looking pretty good. Disappointing he retired with Poland so early. I feel like he could have got a few more caps and maybe done something with them, but we're, they were very poor in international tournaments. But, I mean, we can all say he, he's had a pretty good career in this, um, this simulation here. I think he did play about 40 times for Poland in real life. So, uh, you know, big ups to him there as well. Um, I believe he's a scout at Whistler Krakow. Um, still, so, um, but yeah, an absolutely amazing career here, won an absolute host of Serie A titles and, um, and Premier League titles as well, and I was really worried when we got to this point here, and he hadn't been doing a lot for Leipzig, I was like, oh no, we're going to have another Tom Tom Zola uh, if you haven't seen that, go check out the other video, Spurs basically ruined him, so luckily Paul Brozic got to Spurs at the end of his career when he was, uh, good enough to, um, do something makes the jump to Italy and just dominate Italy over a massive period here of uh, what nine years or so excellent excellent going from Paul Brozic really really love it when it comes together like this anyway guys we're gonna leave it there I hope you've enjoyed that video um, keep your suggestions coming in I've got a few uh, suggestions in the back burner and uh, you know what if you've made it all, all the way to this video I'm gonna tell you right now coming up next is one of, I, I think I say this for every video, is one of my favorite players, but this is one player who who I actually found when I first started playing Champ Man 01. There's only two players that I actually found without being told about them, and that was Alexander Farnaron. Go check him out in the first video. And this is the second player who I just found by luck, and that man is the Egyptian defender Ibrahim Saeed. He will be the next one that we redo in FM23. So, if you're excited for that and you're not subscribed, well, hit that subscribe button and you'll know when it comes out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.